Hey, Handler Helpers! We are so excited to be here today with no one other than Christian Bush. Welcome, Christian! Hello, my friends. How are you doing today? I'm fantastic. How are you guys doing? We're doing great. We're so excited that we're getting the opportunity to chat with you. Obviously, you, you know, we've been friends, My Sing Monsters and Big Blue Bubble, and, and your particular outfit have been friends for a really long time, collaborators, but... Uh, a lot of the uh, community, our handler helpers, as we call them, uh, don't know as, you as well. And so this will be an exciting opportunity to uh, to do exactly that. So Absolutely. We're pretty stoked. Oh, I'm excited. I was your best kept secret for a while. Now, now we're <laughs> now about to do it. <laughs> That's right. Now, now, Let's now we're, tell them. We're, yeah. we're drawing back the curtain and learning a little bit more. So to get started, for those of you who, who are wondering, okay, we, we mentioned the name Christian Bush, but, but who, is who, who is Christian Bush? Christian Bush is the featured performer of the Sugar Bush character on Plant Island and also, of course, has their very own island brimming with legendary energies, the Sugar Bush Island. And uh, 2023 uh, is an exciting year, of course, because we're celebrating a number of 10th anniversary milestones for Sugar Bush. So, uh, Christian, based on your recollection, how did this whole crazy partnership come to be? Uh, this is uh, just like all great stories uh, that start on the internet. Um, it was simply, it was Father's Day of this particular year, and I couldn't get my son to pay attention to me because <laughs> he was on his phone. And uh, I was like, hey, you know, pancakes, like I've got stuff over here to eat. This is the world's best epic breakfast. And uh, and instead of sort of getting on him, uh, I said, well, what are you doing? And he said, well, I'm playing this game. And I was like, well, what game? Show me. And I just came and literally like sat on his shoulder and said, show me. And he he was playing My Singing Monsters. And he's like, see, look, you unlock each of these monsters by crossbreeding them. And it you, there's a percentage chance that you're going to get the right monster. And then it unlocks sort of the other part to the song. And I was like, oh, this is awesome because I make music for a living. And I was very proud of my child. You know, because you try not to push them into the things that you do, but uh, but encourage them at all corners. So as he showed it to me, and so we sat down and he taught me everything about it. And just like an hour or two into it, I picked up my phone and um, I looked up who in the world made my singing monsters. And it turned out to be Big Blue Bubble. And then I was like, hey, you guys, I found your handle somewhere. And I said, if you ever need lyrics for these one of these songs, I'm your man. And then one of you reached out and DM'd me right back, like within a couple of days and said, hey, so want to do something? I'm like, yes. And uh, in the vernacular of country music, I am the kid that nobody gets upset if I do crazy things. <laughs> like I'm the, I'm the kid that gets along with everybody in high school, no matter what you, who you are, what you, you know, what ver version of life you live in, I, I'm kind of your happy friend. And uh, I responded and then we just sort of dove in and was a gamer as a kid and, and uh, knew enough to say, hey, I will do anything you want. How do you guys work? And as you explained to me what you did, I had more fun than anyone is really allowed to have becoming a monster. It sounds like it was really meant to be with your passion for gaming and music to your son playing and showing you the ropes to... DMing us on Twitter, I guess. That's yeah, all it yeah. took. <laughs> a perfect a perfect intersection. Yeah. It took such a short amount of time. For reference, you know, Father's Day, right? That's a weekend in June, right? We had the ball rolling on developing Sugarbush so quickly that the turnaround time for it, its release date was July 29th. So we're talking yeah. about like Basically, the collaboration was super fast tracked. It took place over the course of basically a month. Yeah, that's impressive. Yeah. So that was really cool the way that, that 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 came together. And of course, the rest is history. Now, Christian, tell us a little bit more about your general creative process. What, what, what sorts of things are going through your head when you're writing music, composing music, arranging it, producing it? Tell us a little bit more about that. Uh, typically, um... Well, I'm an atypical creator. I'm the person that is the spark plug. So you can put me into any room w with any creative space. I'm agnostic about genre. I could care less. Mm. I, that music is either in the it's good or bad pile to me. <laughs> and it's so subjective. Like what's good for one person might be bad for another. But um, I, I just love it so much. And I, I have 
a long time ago given up any self-consciousness about um, whether I'm any good at it because we're just going to assume that I'm not. And But something really, really fun might happen and fun is contagious, just like curiosity. It's like it, it, you get, you, once it gets on you, then you're, then you're all about it. So um, I create based on um, A, what's fun, and then B, kind of what's happening this week. I always, you know, as a creator, you're always hustling. You're always trying to sell yourself in addition to selling this thing. So you're the rudder and the sail of anything you're, any vessel, right? And uh, sometimes you get lost in one side or the other. You like, you get too uh, brainy about creating and then, or you get too businessy about pointing the compass. I've existed long enough uh, with a <laughs> with a record deal um trying to avoid getting a real job for a long time and uh as a result my creative process is um jumping fully in and giving whoever it is across from me my complete attention and that's my only process there is no other process not wanting to get a real job makes me think of one of the tracks off of your new ep uh, drink happy thoughts which you're uh, working hard at hardly working right is that, is that correct <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So, so, uh, you know, uh, tell us a little bit more about drink happy thoughts. Oh, well, I mean, uh, most of, um, writing that has lyrics in it that I do, uh, is inspired by hearing people say crazy stuff, <laughs> you know, just like walking down the street and somebody says something and you just, I, 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 I'm constantly amazed at how interesting humans are. Um, and <laughs> Uh, it, it anything that kind of makes me giggle or gives me a smile i have to pay attention to and this idea of if you are what you eat then my wish for you is that you drink happy thoughts this particular uh collection of music is intended to be played during your the, the warmer months um while you are trying to do very little right, right? <laughs> when, when you're when you're you're wor working hard at hardly working like like is it possible to slow down because that's that's what I was trying to do is help people, especially in the country music world, um, to get a little permission to take a day off. You know, don't push yourself so hard. And if I can make you smile, sometimes I use the Bob Marley technique. Like I want you to just sort of hum along with it, not know what you're singing. And about mm. a year or two later go, no, nah, did he really do that to me? That's what <laughs> I've been saying to myself. Oh, okay. I, I, I see you've got some of your instruments there behind you from, from oh, yeah. where you're recording. Um, obviously, it would be excellent uh, for us if you would play a little something for us. I don't know if you sure, if, sure, if, sure. If, if the setup is, is right for that. Oh, the setup's oh, look, always he's ready. ready. He's ready. He's ready. <laughs> now, of course, we were just talking about Drink Happy Thoughts. Um, obviously, Sugarbush Island itself is based on one of your very early uh, uh, solo singles. Now, so just to set the record straight, because a lot of people have been wondering this, they go, wait a minute, did that guy take did that, the which, song? Way, which guy did it? <laughs> no, it's the, right, right. the other way around, you ninnies. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's uh, of course, a, an original composition by by none other than our friend Christian Bush. Do you think do you think you could rock a little uh, Love or Money for I, us? I, I would be happy to. <laughs> okay, that would be I so love, I love this. But within a year after I wrote it and recorded it, I had to go back and create a monster version. Right. <laughs> so I, I I reversed into monster voice because you guys had to teach me what monster voices to use. Well, and, it, and it, your your monster voice is like held up as one of the most iconic, Absolutely. earwormy ones in the game yep. to this date, even even roughly ten years later. So you nailed it. Well, it, I know I know you can't win yoga, and it's not a competition, but I sure do like that. That makes me feel good. Uh, here's the song. Romeo's lined up around the block. Waiting that time, just punch the clock, cause I'm big and underneath. Your balcony, say, and throw that rope. Down to me, holes in my pockets, holes in my shoes, breaks my heart, break the news I'm broke. But I know, I know, I know everything we do, love or money, nobody likes to lose love or money. 
I've been real with you. Come on and tell me, honey. You know it all comes down to love or money. Now you don't need all the glitter and glitz because you're already so glamorous. I can give you much more than this leaning. And give me a kiss. He got gold in his pocket, gold in my heart. Tell me when did it get so hard to choose? You know it all comes down to everything we do. Love or money, nobody likes to lose. Love or money, I've been real with you. Come on and tell me, honey. You know it all comes down to love or money. Ooh, inside my chest is buried treasure. And we can make it last forever. So tempted to do the monster version right there. <laughs> Everything we do. Love or money, nobody likes to lose. Love or money, I've been real with you. Come on and tell me, honey, you know it all comes down to. Yeah, there you go. Round of applause. Woo. Bravo, bravo. Thanks so much for indulging us. It's so great to hear. To hear the original version, obviously we hear "Should We Do Do Do" in our in our heads, uh, as I'm sure you now sometimes do as well. After <laughs> I love like, it, like it's, you were saying. I, if I get lost in my head, I start doing it, and then I'm like, oh, no, 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 that's not. <laughs> yeah, I, you did write lyrics for this. You might like to hear that we get a lot of fan mail, and a lot of our players love to concept out their own ideas for monsters, and you wouldn't believe the number of fans that give us concept art for other. Shows sugar fam right on sugar bush island there are the it's eight, amazing there are the eight characters that exist uh, as we as we celebrate we're we're pretty close now if if not in the middle of our 11th uh, birthday for my singing monsters um, looking back over the past 10 years uh, since since sugar bush made its grand debut in my singing monsters are there any are there any highlights or important moments that that you that you think about um, obviously for us you know, we're we're reminiscing on on ten years of of, uh, of monstering and, and playing messy monsters. How about you? Is there anything anything special that you can recall over the past ten years that you'd like to mention or shout out? Oh, you mean about monsters or about me? No, no, no. About about your life. We've been talking about oh, monsters. Oh, I, I want to hear more about oh, you. Oh, uh, well, I mean, I don't know. The last ten years have been great. I I've, I have a solo career. I I I've made all these uh, fun albums. People just keep giving me yeses, which is awesome. I mean, I'm sure they give me a lot of no's. I just, <laughs> I, my brain just transfers them into like, you mean not yet. <laughs> right, right. Well, it that's, puts a that's T an amazing, and then a Y-E-T, yeah. Right, that's an amazing attitude to have. Uh, I, I think that's that's a pretty perfect spot to, to end our call Absolutely. today. Uh, thanks so much, Christian, for taking the time to chat with us. I know that this is going to mean a lot to our community, uh, and it's and it's really cool that that you continue to uh, to uh, rep the good name. Uh, yeah, hey, such I, a, such I brought you guys a little. I brought you a little uh, special uh, gift today. Oh, a gift! Yes. Okay, so, uh, if you remember some of the how this went down, um, the the. The sugar bush they sent me like drawings of right. essentially a monster me mm -hmm. right which everybody wants to be a monster let's just <laughs> be honest it's like everybody wants to be batman right <laughs> also you also want to be a monster yeah um and so they started to model it after me and and they said well how do you want each of the other monsters to go and i said well it's kind of funny um you could mo model them after all my different hats and they said what do you mean and i said oh well you know uh, I wear different hats. Like, I, I wasn't the kind of person that was like decided on one style. Like, you can tell, like, <laughs> Kenny Chesney looks like a Kenny Chesney. Tim McGraw looks like a Tim McGraw. You know, like all these people. And uh, I could have cared less because I was a rock and roller. And I yeah. was like, uh, I don't know. That was a cool hat. Let's put that on. So 
these are the hats you modeled things on. Oh, nice. All right. We this get is, to see the real deal. This is the this was the first uh, cowboy hat. Beautiful. Very and nice. There's, there's a couple wearing cowboy hats. There's a here's sugar a star. Oh, yeah. Sugar here, base. Here's the one. Here's the real one. The, this was the. There it is. Yeah. Christian wears that hat. <laughs> yep. Uh, these are Brixton hats. Oh, nice, nice. Huh? So for those of you wanting to dress like Christian at if, home, yeah, if you want, look that up, and then you can rock that same style. So I don't know what I would encourage you to do is, uh, if you're coming up with fan art about all this, give him new hats. Mm, there okay. we go. There's, there's an idea. There's these are my, Hashtag these are my favorite. Yep, yeah, these are my favorite two new hats. This one is repping Mars because nice. you know I'm, you know, not necessarily the home team, but. Sometimes the away, the away team. Maybe, maybe one day. Who knows? Yeah. And this is my current hat that I'm wearing now, which is the very first steps and never made. So this was in the 19, uh, early 1919, 1918. Are you saying that you own the first steps? No, no, made? no. It's the same style. Okay. It's called the straddle. <laughs> I was about to say, holy smokes, Christian, that's the coolest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, no, I don't. The first style. This is the very first style they ever made. They, they never, they didn't make cowboy hats till later. Right, right, right. This well, maybe, maybe we'll have to get some steps in costume. I think we are. Since 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 uh, Sugar Bush's inception in the Monster World, we've got costumes now. Uh, oh yeah, things that you can equip on characters. So you've given us hey, a great idea. Maybe that's I, something we can do. Can I dress up as a Sugar Bush for Halloween or something? Uh, yeah. yeah. And could you please send us photos of that? That would be awesome. Okay, I mean um, that'd be maybe the best thing I've ever seen. Yeah. Maybe the best. Not well, maybe it, it would be. It would be. Yes. You're right. No, no, no doubt in our minds. Thank you so much, Christian. We really appreciate it. Uh, Would you like to join us for a happy monstering? Right. This is how we sign off our calls. We say happy monstering. Would you like to join yes, us? Yes, I would. All right. Would. Let's you do need it. to count. Three, two, one. Happy, happy monstering. monstering. Thanks, Christian. Bye, y'all.